Hey guys, Dave Moore, DaveMoore.com, talking today about the best things that I saw at SHOT Show 2018. So first up is Battle Arms Development. Now there isn't any particular product that I saw that I'm going to talk about. It's pretty much just all of their stuff. They make everything except for a muzzle brake for an AR rifle. And they're also making some pretty badass wooden furniture for ARs. So just their whole booth in general is awesome. Anywhere from their receiver sets, their accessories, their furniture, handguards, all that good stuff. Battle Arms Development is just one of the best booths that's at SHOT Show 2018. And they're just one of the best companies that's out there right now. Next, we've got Lantac USA. Now they had three things that I want to talk about. First up, they're making Glock slides and Glock barrels, which not only are aesthetically pleasing, but they're also very useful. The manufacturing and the design behind them is awesome. The feel in the hand, just the use of it is great. I really, I spent, I spent a lot of time at their booth fondling that Glock. Second thing they're making is the side charging handle AR, which is basically a bolt carrier group with the side charging handle in it. So if you're an a, uh, AK lover and you kind of want that same feel with an AR, go ahead, toss in one of these BCGs and you are good to go as far as that. Also, they're making something called the straight pull, which was originally designed in UK so that they could have AR-15 style rifles. Ultimately, it's an AR-15 without the gas system with a bolt that you just pull straight back to load your next round. But here in the U.S., I can see it having some hunting applications. I know there are some states out there that do not allow you to have a gas system or a semi-automatic rifle. So this will remedy that so that you can use your AR while hunting. Only caveat is you have to buy the complete upper. It's kind of a all-in-one design type feature. But if you're really into hunting with your AR, this is definitely something to check out. Third up, we have the Nikon Spur. I know a lot of you have seen it out there. It's Nikon's new red dot. Now we all know Nikon makes great lenses and all that good stuff. Matter of fact, I'm recording this video on a Nikon camera with Nikon glass on it. But one thing that they haven't made is a red dot sight. Well, this year they finally came out with one, like I said, called the Spur. And it kind of reminds me of the Delta Point. But when you bring that Nikon Spur up to your eye, the red dot is extremely easy to find. I was actually surprised about that. Now I can't really talk much on its durability, its battery life and all of that because like I said, I just handled it at SHOT Show. It pretty much stops there. But other people will get a hold of one. They'll do reviews or do torture tests and we'll see exactly how it really holds up. Now I had never heard of this product before but it's the Pistol Mounted Solutions Brace. Saw it at the Primary Weapon Systems booth. It's one of the braces that ships on a few of their pistols. And as you can see, it can hold a Glock mag, an AR mag. It's kind of modular in that design. Now it is ATF approved, so it can go on all of your pistols legally. But for me, this design is one of the best out there as far as braces go. It looks more like a stock. It has the feel, especially the cheek weld. The problem with a lot of braces that are out there are they're extremely thin and uncomfortable. Whether you're shouldering it or not, just bringing it up to your cheek, this brace has that thickness that makes it more comfortable to wield. Another company that impressed me is Ascend Armory. They have, mainly you've probably seen their ambidextrous receiver sets. Well, this year they came out with a lightweight ambidextrous receiver set that has all the same features as their original receivers, but it's about half the weight. So not only are they doing that, but they're also making a lot of badass muzzle brakes, some blast devices, and they're really stepping their game up. Had a chance to talk with a lot of the guys, fondle a lot of their products, and I gotta say, I really want to get my hands on one of their receiver sets. Now a lot of you have seen this, I'm sure it is the Raider pistol, the SCR Raider pistol by Fight Light Industries. Now I wasn't too sure about this before I actually got to handle it, but once I got to SHOT Show, I went to their booth, held it, fondled it a bit, and I gotta say, I love this thing. It actually, it really is cool. It's a little short AR pistol with kind of like those shotgun style grips on the back. And I really like it. It's one of those things that if you 
have it in a gun collection, nobody is going to laugh at you. They're going to say, damn, that's awesome. How do I get one and can I shoot it? So something that I didn't know, Zero Delta. Now we all know that they did acquire War Sport, so they have an awesome new future ahead of them. And we all know that they make awesome scope mounts. Matter of fact, I've got a red dot mount and I have one of their 30 millimeter scope mounts. Hands down, the best mounts that are available, in my opinion. Like I said, I got two of them and they're awesome. Return to zero, they're solid, they're not coming off. They are absolutely fantastic. But one thing that they're also making is a, well, it's not a Glock, pistol. It is pretty much a custom Glock pistol that is extremely modular in everything about it. You can change the grip length, you can add magwells, you can take the magwell off, you can have compact, you can have full size, you can have subcompact, you can add a compensator, you can have the full size slide, whatever you, you, you want to do, they've got the options. They have a few slide options available and obviously the grip lengths and the slide lengths are all adaptable. Pretty much the retail price on it is going to be about, about $1,200, which is about as much as it's costing to customize a Glock anyway, and you have options available. So if you want to change the size of it, you can buy a few parts and you are good to go. But the Zero Delta Glock actually really impressed me. I liked it. I liked the way it felt. I liked the way it worked. And not to mention the dudes at Zero Delta are top notch. Now one company that really did impress me this year is Armaspec. A lot of you have heard about them. A lot of you have seen photos that I post of their ambi safeties and their mag releases and all that. But they have about three new products this year at least I think they're new this year, that really impressed me. And they're not even really a big deal. It's just, they're awesome. So first up, they have a ambi charging handle that's only $57. So the design is there, the use is there, the feel is there, the price is only $57. As we know, that's about half of the leading competitors. So not only are they making the charging handle, they're also making a complete buffer assembly. It's the spring and the buffer all in one. So now you don't have to buy a se separate buffer and a separate buffer spring. Now the caveat to this is it is much more quiet than any other buffer spring out there. In one of my rifles, I have a chrome silicon buffer spring that's supposed to be the quietest thing ever and it still has that twanging sound. So if you buy the armor spec, which is only $45, you drop that in, it's gonna be more quiet than any other spring you have and it's adjustable as far as the buffer weight and the spring weight. You can change out the springs and the buffer to customize whatever you want. Not to mention, like I said, $45, it's extremely affordable. And then the last thing that they have, and it's, it's one of those products that I wish I thought of myself, it's an extended grip screw. It's basically about that long, and it has a little notch in the bottom to use a coin. So if you're at the range and your grip screw comes loose, you can easily access it. The grip screw comes all the way down to about the bottom of the grip. So installing it is much more easy. We all know that installing grips and trying to get up into that grip screw is a pain in the ass. This takes away from that. Product is only $10, so there's really no reason why you shouldn't have one on every rifle that you own. I know a lot of you have seen a bunch of photos that I posted, but L2D Combat is one of my favorites. Not only is their slide work absolutely phenomenal, their price point is perfect. It's right in there, well below what any other slide is going to cost you to get that same look. So not only are they making the slides, but they're making components. They make all the pins for the Glocks. They make triggers, which are new this year, and I got to say, they're awesome. Flat bow triggers, pretty much holding this weight with all the other companies that are out there. I really like their triggers. I've posted a few photos of those. And they're also now doing their own laser stippling or their grip texture. The pattern, not only is it aesthetically pleasing, but it's also useful and grippy. So I'm really looking forward to what L2D is going to come out with in the future as far as perfecting their grip texturing and maybe some more slide designs. But I got to tell you, one of my favorite companies that's out there right now, as far as Glocks go, is L2D Combat. Now, I know all of you have seen this. It is the... Jesse James Firearms Trump 45. It's the 1911 that was made for President Trump. Now, this thing, although no real practical use, and you can't purchase it because it's made one of a kind for President Trump himself, it's absolutely <laughs> phenomenal. The craftsmanship, the engraving, the pure quality of it blew me away. And I actually got a chance to see it in person 
though it was still behind a glass case. I gotta tell you, this thing was phenomenal. I wish that I had the option to buy one myself, even though I probably can't afford it. Still great. I know a lot of you have seen it out there, and it's just, it's one of the, the best custom, one-of-a-kind firearms that I've seen this year. You know, just look at it, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So, all of these really in no particular order, but that's just a few things that I saw at Chacha that I really liked, and I figured you guys would do some good looking into their products and checking out the companies and seeing what they're all about. So that's all I got, guys. Until next time, keep shooting.